everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to do another educate avs educate program we are going to do a lab session which is new in avs educate getting started with cloud operations we are going to start the lab and practice it's going to be about cost estimation after completing this lab we are going to estimate avs cost using avs pricing calculator it requires approximately 30 minutes to complete but i think it should take less and the lab session be careful with the lab sessions uh, they are going to take give you 103 hours so you need to be careful not to pass that if you get distracted don't leave the uh, lab open close it and start another time again uh, with the pricing calculator open new browser tab and in the address bar this is where we do calculator i'm going to take this and add and configure services avs pricing calculator add the load balancer to estimate so we are going to add load balancing i'm going to start with create estimate uh, select a service in the service we are going to write elastic load balancing yes and this is we are going to select that one configure and description load balancer location type region and oregon this one will be oregon Okay, elastic load balancing application load balancer. Application load balancer is on service settings, number of application load balancers. How many? Only one. One is selected. Load balancer capacity unit select section. Configure the following option. Uh, skip process the lambda function as targets. Lambda, we are going to skip this one for processed bytes ec2 instances and ip addresses enter 0.34 ec2 0 0.36 or 636 36 from gbp per hour that's okay uh, gigabytes per hour average number of new uh, connections per alb will be 100 sorry okay per second average connection duration duration will be three three minutes okay average connection duration 3 average number of requests per account seconds per account 400 average number of rule ev evaluations per request will be 20 load balancer listener rules determine how the load balancer rules request for example the default rule only routes http traffic on route 80 to the ec2 instances and now save and add service. Now add the EC2 instance to the estimate. Now we are going to add find service EC2. EC2. Amazon EC2 configure. Description will be C2. Region configure, choose configure. Um, Amazon EC2 card, Amazon EC2 card. Okay, description I'm here, sorry. Select, uh, select collect location type. Location will be. 
or Raycon, it's same region, but I know Raycon. Insta specifications, operating system Linux, daily spike traffic, daily spike traffic, and Monday to Friday selected. Okay, date line enter one, peak will be enter two. Duration of peak hours will skip the default settings. In the EC2 instances section, choose T4G small. T4G, T4G small. Can we select from here? EC2 instances. Pricing strategy. Ah, here, sorry, I'm not going to enter it here. T4G small is here. Okay, it is selected now. Um, pricing strategy on demand. On demand here. Amazon Elastic Block Storage section configure following options, storage options, storage for EC2 instance general purpose, storage here, general purpose, general purpose, keep the default setting, general purpose true here, true output, keep the default, storage amount, enter 30. Okay, data transfer section, data transfer optional here, inbound data transfer, inbound data transfer, internet free, internet free, and enter 50, 50 um, gigabytes. This is terabyte, so we need to make sure it's changed. Save and add service. So we can see the price pricing in here, monthly and yearly. We are going to add RDS instance to the estimate. So find the service, RDS. Um, custom for Oracle are this instance are this for MySQL are this for MySQL this one and description will be database we are going to use database RDS database, select region, and also Oregon, Oregon, they both are selected. Quantity will be one, and quantity drop database MG large. So it's a, here, database M6G large. M6G. Five here. Okay. Deployment option. Um, this is two CPU memory is eight gigabyte for this one. And uh, utilization deployment option. Deployment option here. Multi MZ on demand utilization. Pricing model, pricing model on demand. Keep the default setting. Skip the RDS proxy section. Okay. Um, proxy. In the storage section, configure following storage for each RDS instance. Storage. General purpose SSD. 30 will be 100. 
sorry. Okay, and backup storage, not backup storage here. Entry amount, snap, and section. We are going to skip this and save the service. So now it's estimated database cost quite a lot actually. Storage was high. Now we need to download the and download the estimate. We are going to view the summary, I think. Choose by view summary. Load balancer, number, tenancy, storage. Um, copy the estimate. Give summary, my estimate. Yes, that's called my estimate. This is what we see. Uh, if you if you if needed you can edit or delete the configuration of the services added by choosing edit icon next to its service name and choose export and then CSV file export to CSV okay I think I have it behind my camera export my SMS dialog box choose okay and then use the local file explorer to save the file. Okay, save and share the estimate. Choose share, share, and agree and continue. Copy link, public link, we copy the to share the estimates and send the link to others using co communication tools such as email, then you share when you share an estimate, AWS pricing calculator automatically saves it and generates a new URL to access it. AWS pricing calculator saves your estimate for two three years. So this is all completed. You created cost estimate using AWS pricing calculator. You added the components that are required for three tire web application and defined the seizing requirements each service. You previewed the annual cost estimate and generated a link to share the estimate with others. So this is going to be it, I think. You've completed the link and Choose and lap. I don't know if I can see and lap here because there wasn't a starting lap. This is not accessing. I think that was it, and we are going to have a final assignment. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Fly home.